Hello and welcome to MIP TV and in this edition of MIP TV Bob Cook is joining us to talk about one of his favourite books and this is a number of interviews in a series of um, reviews on books that Bob's read through the years that has informed his practice. So Bob, what book are you going to be reviewing today? I'm going to review uh, a wonderful book by Ian Stewart and a fan joins. Ian Stewart's a well-known TA person who's written many, many books, but he's probably he's best known for this book, and it's called Transaction Analysis Today, often called TA Today, and I think it's sort of like pretty uh, pertinent that I'm reviewing this book today because, of course, one of the founders of TA died a couple of days ago, and that was Claude Steiner. And, uh, you know, Ian and Claude knew each other, and Ian's book really is a wonderful, accessible book with regards to all the TA concepts um, that Byrne and many of the other TA authors um, or people that followed Byrne um, and their concepts, he's put them all together, and him and Van Joins have written this very accessible book for people who are interested in TA in the first time or indeed students, because it's a textbook, really. But I think it's the most accessible textbook on TA on the market. So that's a really solid introduction to the book, Bob. For those of you who are watching at home, we're going to put a slide up now so you can see the book and the title. Mm. And we're going to pop in the comments bar below, in the link bar below this video, uh, a link to it. So if you wanted to examine it or, or buy it, um, you, you could have a look at it, and just to be just to be clear, this isn't a sponsored video, so we're not we're not sponsored by the book company or by anyone else. This is just Bob exploring his books. So, Bob, how how do you use this book in teaching practice? How how is it effective for students or indeed tutors? Well, um, you know, if you talk to I think most TA students or people. Have you have gone on to be TA therapists, they will have this book on their bookshelf. Um, it's usually the first year uh, they're required to buy this book. And it's got a wonderful set of exercises after each chapter, which brings the concepts alive. And it's the number one book um, in the 101, which is the TA introduction mm -hmm. to um, the whole process. And um, I use it particularly to explain very sophisticated concepts easily and use the exercises they actually... Um, have at the end of each chapter, which is very good and um, allows a person to really live concepts um, as well. So it's got a lot of experience exercises. And it's the sort of book which you will probably keep with you for the whole of your training and dip in, especially for the essays. Yeah, I'd agree on that, Bob. I, I, I did the TA 101 with you and I also taught TA as a comparative therapy. I'm not a TA trainer, but taught it as a comparative therapy. And one of the things I liked about this book was that it was just a treasure trove of information. It was it was easily accessible. But not only that, there were some really solid uh, exercises, experiential exercises at the end of each chapter. And uh, I know that we were talking earlier before we recorded this about scripts and the, the drama triangle. Do you want to expand on that, Bob? Yeah, I was just saying that the drama triangle, which is the three psychological positions used to analyse games, victim, persecutor, rescuer, uh, which a lot of uh, TA therapists love, and it's really well explained in this book, and it's got some wonderful examples of the categories of games and how we, out of awareness, fall into these positions and what we need to do to be able to, as clinicians, not only understand where we are, but actually be able to look at how we can help people um, change these psychological positions. And there's a wonderful chapter that I particularly like as well on rackets. Um, I was just thinking of an exercise they've got there, uh, which is you've been in a supermarket for an hour buying all your goods um, and you get to the actual checkout and then you realise you've forgotten your purse, <laughs> you have no money, yes, no credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you then do? And of course, uh, under stress, people often fall into what is called their racket or substitute feeling. And um, it's a really good exercise to look at 
what happens to people under stress and when they fall into the script position. So there's exercises like that which bring the, um, the concepts alive. There's also case studies which bring the concepts alive. And it covers all the major concepts within TA in a very accessible way. And it's very well written. And it's a, a wonderful bibliography at the back of each chapter which shows all the relevant books in TA. So it's a goldmine for students. But it's also wonderful people just coming to TA for the first time to get their their sort of um, hands on the concepts for the first time. And again, it's very useful for people to refresh their skills and look how the concepts are used clinically. And uh, all around, it's, it's a wonderful book. And that's why I, I, I see it as one of my favorites, because I've still got it, for example, after 30 years. I dip in again for myself. And I certainly dip in it when I teach people uh, the 101 and students on my course. So I probably will have it until the day I retire and pass it on to fellow students alike. Like a, like a holy grail passed, passed across, <laughs> Bob. <Yeah>. The, the <laughs> wisdom of the age is shared. <laughs> <laughs> and if you get the book, which has got my autograph on it, even better. Well, there you go. Well, I, I think I think that watch out on eBay for the autograph copy by Bob Cook of yeah. TA Today. Um, always a pleasure, Bob, and and no clearly a book that informs you, your practice, and has for many years. And I know from my own experience of teaching and speaking to your students everybody has a copy of that book so uh, again just to remind everybody we'll put a link down below so people can just click on it and, and have a look and uh, as always bob a real pleasure and thank you very much mm -hmm.